Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. Today is the day, folks, that we finally add another new animal in the hopes of furthering our progress in recovering from the financial fiasco that we've uh, <laughs> sort of been on our way to lately. I don't know if I'd say it was already a financial fiasco. It was about to be one. So I think we've managed to level things out and I think we've actually managed to recover and uh, compared to where we were at the, you know, about the uh, midpoint of the previous session, we ended uh, trending upwards and, uh, and we ended with a fair bit more money than we were at that midpoint. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. The plan today is to actually uh, start things off with maybe a touch of management stuff here and there, uh, let time move forward, try and acquire some more wealth. Uh, read up on the animal we're going to be adding today and then dive into that time lapse and then you know get the animals in right afterwards as well so that's all I've got for a you know introduction as it were I don't want to hit pause or anything I want to try and accumulate as much money as possible between now and when we have our uh, time lapse uh, because you know I want to make sure I'm not held back it's probably not going to be as uh you know, massive a build as some of the others have been. I want to keep myself in check a little bit, but we will be working up over here, and I'm sure the thumbnail or title have already given away uh, what the animal is going to be, but we'll touch on that uh, when the time comes. Uh, first things first, I want to deal with a couple of things here and there that I think will make things a little bit better. Uh, for one, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these benches. We've got way too many benches now, and the thing, what was going on was uh, I saw... This was an area with a lot of issues as far as fatigue and walking and energy was concerned. And so I kept adding more and more benches, just hoping to find a solution. Um, but the reality is that, well, the problem wasn't a lack of benches. The problem was the placement of the benches. Um, and, and, and evidently, putting benches in the middle of the path as aesthetically and functionally, you know, appropriate as it might be, it doesn't work with this game's uh, pathfinding. So fair enough, lesson learned, we're moving on from that. You can see even like just this congestion that was happening over here with the guests not sure how to deal with the benches and you can see it so clearly now. So we're gonna go ahead and actually, let's move this one in a little bit. Doesn't hurt to have another one up over here. Go ahead and move you down. So that should hopefully help uh, the congestion in this area uh, free up a little bit. Uh, and apart from that, I also want to move some stuff around over here. We've got a couple benches right in over here. And I'll be completely honest, I completely forgot about these benches, uh, which, again, I still think they're nice benches. You know, can you imagine sitting on one of these and looking at the animals and enjoying the little splashing water and whatnot? I can. Maybe you can. But the guests in uh, Planet Zoo cannot. So we're going to get rid of these as well. Uh, again, thank you all in the comments for uh, pointing out these benches. I had, like I said, forgotten about them. And like I always say, folks, I do read through all the comments and I do take a look at all the feedback and thoughts and opinions that y'all are sharing. So do keep all that coming still. And if you would like to see more Planet Zoo on the channel, uh, again, let me know in the comments or by leaving a like. Obviously, I look at the number of likes and comments as well as reading through all the uh, comments to just uh, let me know what uh, what people want to see on the channel. Go ahead and move that ATM up over here as well. That way we're not... I'm tempted actually to move this ATM over to here right and that way people will not have any reason to stay over here unless it's to look at the animals and that should really free up the congestion especially uh, along the uh, the exit and entry point now some of y'all have been suggesting that maybe we go ahead and build another exit or entry point somewhere uh, to further help with the flow of traffic not a bad idea though I do wonder if we're able to do that without having to completely restructure this entire uh, space right so I'm holding off on that I do like the look of it as well I do like how it comes together so I uh, you know I hope we don't have to resort to that but if we do we'll still make it look good I just want to make sure that that's sort of our last resort as it were but it looks like things have already improved over here Looks like things have already significantly improved over here. And honestly, if I get rid of this bench, I think that'll be the last step in improving everything. But if I'm going to get rid of this bench, I want to figure out what to do over here so that the uh, spotlight is still special. Now you can see some guests sitting down, though. I do wonder. They're going to complain about the view from the bench, aren't they? Even though you'll be, you'd will be you be able to see the animals from here. We'll see. We'll see what people say. Um, might want to remove some of the benches over here as well. Again, might be overdoing it a little. Right, make sure that guests are still able to flow smoothly in these areas. Keep an eye out for it. But yeah, lesson learned, you cannot have benches uh, down the middle of a path. Fair enough. Now, over here, another lesson learned. Let's go ahead and get rid of this pathing over here. Now, I saw some of y'all commenting about how, 
You're not really happy with how, um, you, you, you preferred how, uh, Darwin's Den looked before we made these changes. Uh, fear not. There is still a lot of work to be done at Darwin's Den, and once all that work is done, I'm fairly confident that we'll all like it significantly more than what it was before, but that is something that's waiting for a beauty pass. Um, especially now that I've had to remove this, uh, you know, gravel look over here. It's looking very barren, of course, and this is floating, but we'll, we'll sort that out. I think maybe next session we'll have a beauty pass, or maybe the session after that, not entirely sure, but uh, maybe we'll focus on Darwin's Den and we can make this place feel all fancy and nice like I have it in my head so that you don't have to imagine uh, what I'm what I'm what I what I have planned for this area because I think it will look quite nice especially compared to what we had before still very inspired by my ideas for that sector but uh, but again that's that's not today's uh, thing to tackle that's not today's uh, top task as it were uh, I also need to stop doing my uh, Jurassic Park experiments over here uh, this was a mistake obviously I've got two female uh, red-eyed uh, tree frogs in here and and the jurassic park reference is just again from the original jurassic park where they would always use emails to like finish off the dino dna but then one of the frog right not gonna go through this isn't jurassic park but um also i'm just joking i know that doesn't actually happen in the game before any of you think that i do think that uh let's go ahead and buy a new uh red-eyed tree frog preferably a male this time Listen, that's not funny, game. Seriously? Not a single male red-eyed tree frog available. What are the chances? What are the chances? Well, I guess we have to wait. It's fine. We'll keep two females in here. It's not the end of the world. Still some, uh, still a reason to come here. Uh, but we also need to reset our Titan Beetle education boards because at one point uh, they had all died. The space was empty and that was not good, obviously have one male in here right now if we take a look at exhibit trading do we have no we do not let's go ahead and take a look at oh there we go male adopt you send you over here come on there we go let's go ahead and get ourselves a female titan beetle as well where are we titan beetle there we go couple of options decent fertility here bring you in over here good stuff that ought to do the trick now, happiness has dropped again a little bit. I'm curious to see if that's because of, like, a bit of litter somewhere or something like that as opposed to anything else specific. Uh, we did just get rid of a bunch of benches, but I doubt that's got too much to do with it. But you can see the almost immediate reflection of uh, happiness on our... Oh, yeah, see? Look at that. Vandalism. Replace that. You can see the almost immediate effect of, uh, of that on, uh, on our finances. Why are you guys unhappy? What's made you unhappy? Some litter? Looks like. Yep. Right in the middle over here. Right in the middle over here. So let's go ahead and get our staff from the center section over here. Alta Toledo. Emptying bins right now. Okay, let's get someone else from the center section who's just wandering. You're also emptying bins. You're wandering. Cool. But move you right up to here. Get the job done. I think now many of you have pointed out that it might be a good idea to, uh, uh, maybe... Or... Hurting people's opinions as well. It might be a good idea to maybe get rid of some of our staff to, uh, help deal with the financial, uh, situation. Uh, I don't disagree, but we have spent so much time training so much of our staff, I'm a little worried about doing that preemptively and then having to rehire basically right away, right afterwards anyway. Uh, so I'm a little hesitant about that aspect of things. Hopefully this will be repaired pretty quickly. I might need some more mechanics, actually. There we go. See, that was causing unhappiness over here. Might need some more mechanics soon. Dangerous fighting due to overcrowding. Let's go ahead and sort this out. What are we looking at here? A fair bit of overcrowding. Both of you need to go to the trade center. Metzli is kind of old over here. Injured now as well, but I think I saw... Well, let's go ahead and call a vet just in case. Get that taken care of. Kind of old, but maybe still able to bring us some more uh, extremely viable babies. I mean, the babies out of uh, out of the space have been amazing all the way, uh, like all the way through since the beginning. I want to say so. Hopefully, she still has a few more babies coming. Why are you upset? Maybe they're the last group to make it through uh, the litter. Over here, we have some more vandalism as well. Place that. There we go. 
couple of spots causing negative impacts will heavily, heavily influence um, guest happiness. If we have another full bin over here. Let's go ahead and get... Uh... See, these guys have low workloads. Need to be moving a little bit faster. Just wandering over here. Get to work, buddy. Come on. Come on, get to work. There we go. Get you up over there. This stuff's all good. This stuff's all good. Got some litter over here as well. Once you're done up there, move you down here. I mean, we've got a good flow of guests as well. You can see guests moving around a fair bit, which is good to see. Um, not seeing the congestion from previously. Guest needs a little bit of unhappiness here and there, but again, these guys might have walked by some vandalism or God knows what, right? Spent too much time walking. That's another thing I want to tackle today. I think uh, that's about as much as we can do right now. There are some things we have to tackle, like I was saying. So in order to get there, though, apart from just the uh, new animal I want to add in the time lapse, I also want to work on the new transportation ride. Uh, let's go ahead and read up on the new animal that I was looking to add. And at the end of that reading, we will see where things stand financially. And that will make some that'll be a big part of the decisions we have to make. I was going to do a couple more things before we got into this, but given the circumstances, I think we uh, I think we need to accelerate our process a little bit shall we so as uh, as we see green down over here finally again <laughs> uh, let's pop open zoopedia and take a look at the common warthog that is our next edition uh, i've been told they're very affordable um they have like a they have a decent appeal uh hopefully it's enough to bring people close to the lions where we'll be making the bulk of the donations uh but i do feel they will fit nicely among the lions and we can put them in such a way that we expand uh the well, we, we start filling up this middle area so that we can move on to connecting South America and Africa properly and Africa off to the side with Africa to the center. So, the common warthog. Least concern, quarter of a million population in the wild, so that's all looking pretty good. The common warthog, or Bacocorus africanus, uh, I guess, uh, lives throughout Sub-Saharan Africa in a wide variety of environments. Although not currently endangered, the species is vulnerable to drought and hunting, as they're often viewed by humans as pests. The reason for this is twofold. Firstly, they can spread disease to livestock. Secondly, they can destroy crop on farmland when rooting with their tusks. This has resulted in some pockets of the population being wiped out. The common warthog has a large head with a coarse mane of hair and distinctive tusks. We will continue reading on that in a moment's time. Seems we have... Another adult lion male in here, Chen Zero. Oh, not here to watch Lion King. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Really good genes. Wow, amazing genes. The Trade Center. Ooh. All right. Um, okay, that's that taken care of. Oh, that's not that's not looking too hot. Momentary unhappiness hits that hard, eh? Must be a couple of refunds or something. At the same time as feeding, potentially, is, is what did the trick there. Uh, the upper tusks are large, thick, and blunt, while the lower tusks are short and sharp. Warthogs also have large car cartilage mm, cartilaginous protrusions on their cheeks. The males average between 1.3 and 1.5 meters in length and between 60 and 150 kilograms in weight. Wow, that is a huge, like, room for variation. Uh, whereas females are shorter and lighter, averaging between 0.9 and 1.3 meters long and 45 to 75 kilograms in weight. That is, those are some big differences. Those are some big differences. Natural habitat, they are from sub-Saharan Africa. So, you know, there's the equator right there. Fits our bill perfectly. Grassland and tropical, fair enough. They do not need a lot of space, and I need to keep that in mind because I want to make sure we're not overdoing it here. I need to really maximize our profits with some of these upcoming moves, right? Um... So good, no climbing or anything required either. It should be a relatively simple build for now, which we'll soup up when uh, when, when things are looking better in terms of uh, money. Oh, on the topic of making money, and some Titan Beetle Offsprings. Group size, one to seven, up to one male, up to six females. Okay, can be a decent size then. Male bachelors, one to four. Female bachelor size, one to seven. Dominance is males fight for the right to mate. Females have rank in groups based on age. Interesting. I think that's the first animal we've read up on that uh, has that kind of a system. Mating system is promiscuous. They are confident with their relation with humans, but guests cannot enter the habitat. No surprise there. Size, all right, 32 feet, 30, 32 feet, 
wow, 32 inches tall at shoulders. Females are 28 inches tall at the shoulder, 18 years life expectancy, and weight 200 and 130 pounds. Sexual maturity, two years in. Sterility at death, fair enough. That's a fair bit of time uh, of virility. One to five offspring per mating event. Okay, pretty good. Six months gestation, 24 months interbirth. Very easy reproduction in captivity. Hopefully we get some baby warthogs very early on, and that way we can, uh, again, little babies have more appeal than the adult animals, even with low appeal animals in general, right? Social needs. Warthogs have a complex social structure. Mature females tend to live in interrelated groups with their offspring. However, year-old piglets may leave their mother's group and live in sibling groups before splitting up as they get older. The young females usually return to their mother's group, whereas young males will form bachelor herds until they are old and strong enough to become solitary. Reproduction. Male warthogs have two strategies for mating. These are called tending and roaming. Interesting. A tending male will join a sounder of females during the mating season and block other males from coming close, as well as try to stop females going to other males. Roaming males search for multiple sounders and attempt to mate with females from these groups, often competing with a tending male. The female common warthogs are pregnant for five to six months before giving birth to one to five piglets in their burrow. These young piglets reach maturity at two years old, although males are unlikely to mate for the first time until they are four to five years old. That's really cool, the whole two types of, uh, of approaches to mating. That's, I, wow. That's very different from most of the other animals we've, like, read up on and stuff, so, uh, that's fascinating. God, I love Zoopedia. I love Zoopedia so much. Research-wise, a lot of the habitat enrichment and food enrichment we've got already, but of course they're higher-tier foods we do not have unlocked yet, and they are able to share space with quite a few animals, and this is where it becomes challenging for me, because I would like to use these multi-species opportunities, right? But if we're going to do that, we need to have a bigger space. Now, just, just because they can be a part of this entire group doesn't mean they have to be a part of this entire group. So maybe this is one of the cases where this is one of the many animals that could have been in a group that is kept separate instead. Because I would like to have a large habitat with like zebras and ostriches and wildebeests and giraffes and all that stuff. Though, I mean, I don't want to do that right now, given our current circumstances, right? Yeah, and, and maybe what we can do is we can have this enclosure built, and then later on, we can grow this enclosure over multiple sessions to go from being a single animal enclosure to a multi-animal enclosure. But these guys all together will need a lot of room, right? These guys all together will need a lot of room. Something to, something, to, something to consider, though. Something to consider. Another thing to consider is why our situation is still where it is right now. I thought we did a pretty good job of getting the situation improved. But it seems like a lot of people are still unhappy about something or another. Wish I could have stayed longer. Are they now complaining about me having removed the benches? Maybe? That's the only thing I can think of. I removed too many benches. Alright, well, I mean, hey, we can add a couple more, I suppose. I don't know if me removing benches partway through their visit had something to do with it. Maybe they were planning on using the bench and then they weren't able to. But all those complaints are coming from this area. All those complaints are coming from this area. Even though energy over here is looking pretty good overall. Energy across the board is looking pretty good, so it's it's hard to, hard to tell sometimes. I'm just hoping to... Uh, Get us past that 50k mark before we dive into the time lapse. Normally, I like to do the reading and then dive into the time lapse right afterwards. But uh, just bear with me for a moment here, folks, because I think we're we're on the path to recovery. We're on the path to recovery just fine. It's those last couple of steps now. Last couple of steps. People over here are thirsty, but they're getting their drinks, so that's good. Washroom use. Yeah, there's the washroom right down over here, so hopefully these guys are all... Yeah, they're using the washrooms... Doesn't seem to be a big problem. There's the washroom up over here as well. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be a big problem at all. Good, good, good. You should maybe go to the washroom. The one that's right up over here, perhaps, you know? Right, we're doing we're doing okay across the board with this as well. Hmm. There's a problem here. Low welfare. 
haven't had food in a while. That's obviously not acceptable. Where is the feeder? This one. Call the keeper over here just to make sure that uh, food is delivered. I just want to check over here, look at our finances. We are still profitable this year so far. It's only just begun. Last year though, yeah, I started losing some money again. Hmm, interesting. You get all excited and then uh, you get kicked in the knees, eh? Okay, okay, okay. Not a problem, not a problem. Best happiness. What uh, What have we changed? What have we made worse? <laughs> what have we made worse? A lot, a lot of grumpy people, actually. Struggle to satisfy my hunger. You know what? I think once we get the, uh, the trains established, I think that has to be the first thing we do. And if that takes up all of our money and we're not able to establish a new enclosure today, then kind of like, you know, so be it. Because the, the, the ride will be expensive to establish. The ride will be expensive to establish. Obviously, got to build the tracks, got to buy the stations and everything. There'll be long tracks too, but almost everybody complains about uh, time and walking. That's almost everybody's complaint. Energy is low. Oh, there's benches right out over here. I wonder if congestion is still a problem over here. I wonder if I should move this bin, for example. Don't trust people. <laughs> Don't trust people. Move this bin in a little bit. Free up the space over here. There's not a bin over here, okay. Let's see what that does for us. We are seeing improvements, so that's promising. Owen said he wins the race. Wish I could have stayed longer. They're all going home. We're going home as well, I think. We're just watching animals. More vending machines necessary, maybe. Get more sources of food and drink. Yeah, I got people using benches and everything. All right, 43k. Hmm. I don't want to spend too much money before this uh, time lapse that'll... Again, the reason why I want to do the tracks and the time lapse is because there's so much fiddling and stuff. I doubt you want to see it in real time. It's such a such a painful experience sometimes. Um, sorry, staff, work zones. I do know that I forgot previously to add these guys to this work zone. So let's make sure they're getting the attention they need as often as they need it as well. Make sure a mechanic is over here once every... Come on, where's the... Where? There we go. Wow, I have to scroll down on this. Interesting. Once every three months, please. Every year. I mean, they've actually... These ones have been okay. Um, except for that one last session. Maybe saying these to every three months is... Uh, going to be a problem. Go ahead and get rid of one of you. These ice creams, though, they, they... I don't know if having two is really worth it. We'll find out, I guess. Because they're both making money still. Because if one's too busy, then people will go to the other one. I've seen a lot of people complain about one not being uh, available or the other. Every three months, get you set up to every three... Well, hopefully that's not too bad. All right, money's on the up again, so that's promising. That's promising. What's the deal over here? Uh, you know what? I think I'm finally going to just go ahead and reduce the size on this. G groups might be getting very upset. So let's go ahead and just reduce that and, and remove this problem once and for all. And, you know, maybe that'll do... Maybe that'll make all the difference in the world. Maybe that'll do exactly what we needed to do. Negative impact. Do we have some more litter or something somewhere again? That's uh, all I can really think of as a major... Yep. Right over there. There's been right over there. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Um, over to the zoo, over to the staff. Pick someone up from the center, I guess, for now. Wandering. I wish I would tell you what they were up to in that screen, so you could, like, pick out the right people without having to select them and see what they're up to. Here we go cleaning litter. Fine. Otherwise, over here. What about up over here? Everyone's okay. Looking like it. Nothing major going down. Yep. Everything's perfect over here. 
We're good, we're good. A lot of grumpy people over here. Oh, is this bench broken? Why is it not highlighted red? There, that, that was almost definitely making a big difference. Anybody going to see the lines or coming back from seeing the lines was, was seeing that. That's not ideal. Fine, let's go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way then. Prime. Alright, now everything's been fixed. Wish I just checked that earlier. Don't know if that's going to make the difference, but it will make a difference. Okay, we're still fine over here. Yeah, everything else is fine. Keep it on back up to a five-star, feels like. We're not already there. Okay, good stuff. Uh, you know what, I think, uh, I think we have to dive into our time lapse. I think we have to uh, do the big expensive thing and solve the big expensive problem to uh, to see a big expensive success. Otherwise, we're always just going to do these little things and uh, not seeing a big, you know, leap forward as far as our uh, finances or anything are concerned. Yeah, see, this is not <laughs> this is not the positive trend we had a couple of uh, months ago. Not taxes, ongoing expenses. I mean, did we just have a magical, fortunate year in terms of ticket sales? Is that is that really what set things apart? That's what it feels like. It's June and we've only made 25k from ticket sales, from uh, zoo entrance ticket sales. Uh, it's an interesting balancing act. Okay, fair enough. Wow, Nahuatl, about to get a last couple babies out. Are you serious? Amazing. Amazing, because she's getting pretty old as well, so that's quite fortunate for us. Her babies are always high appeal. Draw some more donations. These guys, this is still congested over here. You know what? I think I might need to, yeah, build an extra in or out point. Why is what I don't understand, you know? It's like, why is it like this? It used to work fine beforehand. When we first established this. Even when this area was super busy, right? It used to work fine. You, like, stuck here? What are you looking at? Tired, you're thirsty, but you're just standing there. Go do something about how you feel right now. Heading back to Patrimon's Garden. Yeah, I'm not, not, not sure. Not sure what the deal is. Not sure what the deal is, but what I do know is that we've got just over 40k. I think if we establish this ride, it will uh, make a world of difference. It would make a world of difference in either direction. We're about to find out which direction it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm a little, uh, a little disappointed to say that we might not be able to establish the uh, new enclosure. Unless it's very basic. We'll try and balance this out, folks. We'll try and balance this out. Uh, all right. Loving the tension. Stressing me out. Good stuff. Hard mode is actually being hard over here, folks. With all that said... Let's get to it. Let's hope that this train ride solves the problem. I really got to figure out how the tracks are laid, where they sit, and how people are taken from point to point. This needs to be hyper-efficient. That said, ladies and gentlemen, it's time-lapse time. All right, folks, this is... Oh, man, quite the time-lapse. My uh, eyes were, like, constantly on the... Uh little money section on the screen as I was looking around and trying to figure out exactly how we're going to make this happen. The ultimate desire from my side was to try and accomplish both tasks today. I wanted to get, I wanted to very badly get the train tracks down and I wanted to very badly get the um, warthog enclosure happening as well. Uh, so trying to balance all of that with the plans, with the train and everything, oh man, it was, uh, it was, it was something special. It was something special, but folks, as the thumbnail has probably given it away, mixed with what I'm working on right now, we are able to tackle both. Uh, we get the trains more or less completely done, at least as far as I need them to be done at this stage of the game, literally speaking, uh, but the, uh, Warthog Enclosure We'll be going through another pass and stuff next session for sure. We get the, the basics down. I wanted to make sure we get the animal in. We get all the you know rudimentary stuff down uh, in terms of its uh, space requirements and vegetation requirements. And I've done a lot of research in terms of what I want to actually do with the space aesthetically. Uh, just a matter of implementing it is going to be not just time consuming, but also at least a little expensive. And I want to make sure that uh, everything we work on today 
works in terms of solving our major issue before jumping the gun and you know finding ourselves in even hotter water than uh, than we were when when this time lapse kicked off, right? Uh, so the first order of business you saw, I adjusted the entrance a little bit ever so slightly. Um, as a reminder slash pitch, I guess my hope is to actually implement the tracks going in two directions so that people can get on over here and they can either head towards the uh, sort of connection point of South America and Africa over on the western side or they can get on over here on a different station and head towards Australia and, and go around the loop that way so a clockwise loop and a counterclockwise loop is my hope at the moment I don't know how smoothly and how well it's actually going to work because this isn't really like these rides aren't really like trains this is not a traditional this is not a train in a traditional sense right so uh the 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 way pa the way um customers might use it the way it might be um i guess you know analyzed by the ai might not work how i wanted to but anyway that's just a thought we actually don't execute that today because i wanted to see what one train loop does for us before I, you know, again, jumped the gun and went over the top on something only to pay the price, again, literally and metaphorically speaking here. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, I'm trying my best to not have too much of a, you know, roller coaster feel or flying over top of you all the time feel, trying to stay you know, kind of close to the ground, hugging the surface every once in a while, allowing those support structures to give us some elevation and uh and trying to make it feel as uh you know realistic i suppose as possible and we will be adding some you know rocks and soil and stuff like that around these uh these these stations and like we did elitsu north uh at elitsu south as well we're going to be building up the stations as well to make them a bit more compelling to look at from a distance for both us as well as our uh, guests and also for people who are you know like not just looking at it from a distance but also actually experiencing the stations as they're getting onto the trains and and, and riding them and getting off the trains so our South America stop is uh, more or less at the end of the South America area. Uh, the pathing itself will actually take people to the beginning of the Africa section, like the the, the that split, basically. Um, and I feel like that way guests can get off the train and they can head in either direction depending on what they want to see. I felt like that was the right spot for it. Uh, and the... Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're, again, we're kind of... We're building, we're building backwards here, right? This train is the result of us realizing we have a problem. And so now we're trying to fit the train into an existing um, structure. It's like we put the meat down and now we got to put in the skeleton. It's kind of backwards, but we're making it work. And I'm actually really happy with how it ends up. Um, like I would have done things maybe a little differently if we were planning the, uh, the trains first. But overall, I'm actually really happy with how it all kind of comes together and, and actually ends up working. So uh, I guess I can only say I'm pleased about that. Uh, again, setting up some more, uh, trying to make these entrances and exits look nice as well as, you know, serve their purpose. Um, as is always the case, I don't want to just slap things down. I want to make sure there's enough room for queuing up and you'll see me do that across all of the uh, uh, all of the stations. Because the last thing I want is people to complain about there not being enough room to queue after we're making all this effort. Uh, you'll notice also I'm making a fair bit of negative space uh, over here between the monorail tracks and the train tracks. Uh, the intent is to have some animals over there. I'm not exactly sure uh, how I'm going to go about doing it or which animals it's going to be, but I intend to have some animals there or at least have a really awesome looking like gorge or something like a nice, vibrant, lush, um, forested area uh, if it's not going to be a, uh, uh, you know, like an enclosure or anything like that or a handful of enclosures, I should say. But... That being said, you can see me right now kind of plotting where our guests over here are going to get off. And again, it's important to remember that all the decisions I'm making right now in terms of placement, uh, entrances, exits, the way the path works and everything like that, it's all determined by the plan to have a second station right next to this one that will again go the other way around. So if this one's going clockwise, the one that's going counterclockwise will sit right up over there where I'm like, I don't end up building the path, but where I'm planning on building that path. Uh, so it's a lot of space being taken up. It's a lot of cause for concern, but even though we may or may not do it, like I'm not sure if we're going to end up doing it later on, but even if we don't do it, I wanted to make sure that I took it into consideration as a possibility because reverse engineering all this stuff, um, you know, going back and deconstructing all this stuff to put it in afterwards 
it would be a nightmare, almost certainly. Uh, almost certainly. So there's room for those stations across the board. Uh, the Africa area might be a little bit funky to work with. We'll have to build some bridges over the tracks or something. Like, the footpaths will have to go over the tracks to end up on the other side. Um, something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out if we have to. We'll figure it out if we have to. We might have to make some adjustments here and there. Uh, but now we're looping back around over here and getting the Australia section done again. It's not entirely symmetrical. It's not like our inner ring or well, it's a half ring now. And you can see me right now. I'm like talking to myself and marking out. Okay, well, where do the dingoes go? Where do we put the um, where do we put the West African dogs? What goes next? Do we get some hyenas over here? Because they're not the same, but they're, you know, similar ish. And that's an interesting conversation point. Like I'm like literally like mulling over the, the, the future plans in my head. That's that's one of the reasons why this time lapse was so daunting is because it really wasn't just about what we're doing here and now, right? It's not like an enclosure where we build the enclosure, cool, we move on. This thing goes through our entire zoo. This thing goes through where there were going to be enclosures. This thing goes through where there were going to be decorative elements. Like this, these train tracks are fundamentally changing a bunch of my plans. Now there's a huge cut there for which I apologize. It's because, and I'll explain more in detail after the time lapse, but my recording software had some issues. I'm glad I noticed. There was a chance that I wouldn't have noticed. Um, so you miss only a handful of things uh, as, I, as I move on. I finish the tracks. I add some solar panels, one of which you can see over here, uh, to power the stations. But that's uh, not a big deal. There's maybe like five or 10, maybe at most 15 or 20 minutes worth of work. Uh, but it was really just fiddling with solar panels and, and getting finessing the track and things like that. So not not the end of the world. Uh, what we have moved on to though, and that's what like I took a moment, like I took a breather before I dove into the next section of this time lapse, which is when I noticed that my recording software had 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 cacked out. Um, but uh, what we're doing now though is is preparing the warthog enclosure. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I want to reiterate this is obviously not the final look of the enclosure. We're going very rudimentary here, setting up the overall. Uh, sort of perimeter of the space, setting up the overall like area that they're going to be in, uh, trying to figure out their, well, once we get them in here, we're going to try and figure out their terrain requirements, and also at present figuring out viewing angles and things like that. I have some big plans for the space. Um, I've done a lot of research into the aesthetic of the indigenous cultures of the area, well, I should say areas, plural, uh, that the warthogs are often founded. So I've got a lot of plans for how I want to... Um, execute that enclosure but right now if you look at our money we don't really have the wiggle room i want to leave a little bit of a runway for if things go horribly wrong i want to make sure we don't have to rely on a loan uh so i don't dive into all that but what i do is over here i finish off that staff path connection that we talked about many 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 episodes ago in the hopes that this will also help uh alleviate some of the stresses that our staff are feeling which in turn will help alleviate our animal unhappiness and it might help with you know, staff getting around, keeping things clean, etc., etc., etc. Hoping all of these little things pay dividends while the uh, introduction of the Warthog hopefully brings more people out over here as well. Um, man. I will tell, I suppose. Last couple touches for this time lapse is throwing down, you know, some eating spots. Uh, gonna experiment with water a little bit, but we're gonna change how water works in the Warthog enclosure as well, but not for a while yet. I'm gonna wait until the uh, riverboat ride I talked about last session as its kind of like introduction. And I'm gonna use that, I think, as a source of water for the warthogs. Uh, you can see me experimenting over here, but we get rid of this, replace it with just a water pipe for now. We got big plans for the area. Uh, gotta just set aside the big bucks to uh, to execute it. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, that's the, uh, that's the time lapse for the day. The next session is going to be extremely intense up in this corner over here. Um, just getting this warthog enclosure done. Of course, after this time lapse, we're gonna get the animals in. You're gonna see their opinions about the space and the things we have to modify. But uh, lots of plans for sure, both on this side, inside, and on that side of the enclosure as well. Talking about, you know, the left, the right, and even the back, I suppose I should say. Uh, but yes, all that and much more will happen in the next time lapse. That's in the next session. Uh, that is it for this time lapse. So I hope you all enjoyed this problem solving. And now it's time to find out if it actually solved the problem or, uh, or not. So back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse and my oh my was that not one of the more stressful time lapses we've had in a while. I was a little worried that the uh, train tracks were 
hogging all of our money and uh, that we wouldn't have the opportunity to build the enclosure and to be fair it's nowhere near complete in fact you could say it basically looks like a wart right now huh but uh but truth be told i have some big plans well not big in terms of size but big in terms of exploration i've done a lot of research with regards to what i want this to uh, look like i'm not sure if the pieces are there to do exactly what i want to but what i do know is that the money at present isn't there to do exactly what i want to but i have some nice plans with regards to uh the you know what's gonna feel like an entrance into this space we're gonna have a nice little canopy over here if not a complete structure that you kind of tuck into uh, i've been looking at some references for uh indigenous architecture from the areas where warthogs are uh seen found um where they where they where they like spaces they inhabit so i've been looking at that for some references we're gonna have a nice little space up front over here as well i mean i've got i've got some great ideas i get well i shouldn't call i feel weird calling my own ideas great i don't know if they're good or not but um i've got some ideas that i'm excited for and hopefully they'll turn out great but unfortunately like i was saying we don't really have the uh the money for it right now i mean we do but my concern is if we keep getting hit by um costs if the train doesn't do the trick that i need it to do then we are you know we want to make sure we have a bit of a a, a, a runway, so to speak, um, to, to keep us on track. God, I need to stop myself. The big thing to point out about the time lapse, though, that I probably, I don't know if I did mention during the time lapse, but you might have noticed a big jump at one point. That's because my, um, the, uh, the time lapses were getting so long and the recordings were getting so long that I've actually, my, the, the, the hard drive, rather the, the M2 drive, I guess, where I record to was getting filled up and I hadn't noticed and I was actually very fortunate to see the warning pop up. For some reason, it popped up behind the Planet Zoo screen, so I didn't see it happen. Um, but there was a warning that's saying, like, hey, you've run out of space, so we're stopping recording. Uh, we didn't lose too much, though. Lost about maybe, like, 20 or 10, 10, 10 to 20 minutes of work or something. Uh, but, like, we got some solar panels down, fixed some pathing and, and, and whatnot. Made sure power was getting everywhere it needs to get to, that sort of stuff. And we also uh, finessed this connection over here is all that was dropped off from the recording. But I'm glad I caught it and uh, managed to restart the recording after clearing up some space so you could see the rest of it. Man, it would have been very unfortunate if I hadn't, uh, hadn't noticed that. But anyway, uh, let's set that aside. I just wanted to touch on that so you know what the big uh, jump was about and so you know what you've missed. It isn't all that much. No big deal. Uh, now we're going to hit resume... And then get the warthogs in. Just thinking this through right now. Money is a delicate balance. You know what? No, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and very quickly check. Yeah, we need to get names for all these stations because now that names stick, I want to make sure we're getting names in there. Uh, and I want to touch on something as well. Actually, this has been brought up in the comments a little bit. This was actually my plan for it when we... Uh, made the changes last session, but I was a little worried because we didn't have the money for it. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to establish, like right now we have this massive shuttle from here to here, which is obviously ludicrous. What we're actually going to do is create two mini shuttles instead. One from here to here, and one from here to here. So we're going to split this station up into two smaller stations. It'll be a lot more manageable. But right now, in all honesty, not feeling like dealing with the uh, pathing and all that, we know it's going to be a bit of a struggle don't want to deal with that right now i want to make sure we are you know in a bit more of a comfortable spot so what i'll probably do is deal with that next session while we also finish the warthog enclosure off next session as well uh, but for now i want to get the animals in i want to see if the trains actually help like we've uh like <laughs> as they were prophesized to uh but i don't think that's going to happen if we don't oh my lord look at that that's how much we spent on these tracks and again, I want to set up a second set as well, going the other way around. That's why I've offset this. I want to set up another station that sends the train the other way around. But honestly, I don't even know if it will work uh, because of... Like, we're, we're building back into the tracks. Uh, we're not building out from the tracks. So we're, we're trying to, like, get things to fit. We'll deal with that when we get there. For now, though, I do want to adjust the ticket prices. One is certainly not the amount of dollars we'll be charging for this. Uh, I, I feel like this is at least worth $12 redos, at the very least, right? We'll see if people start complaining, whoops, if people start complaining about it, uh, then we'll, we'll adjust. But if you'll recall, even when the, um, the, uh, not the gondola, the monorail was set at 10 bucks, people were still like, oh, this is such a great deal. It looks awesome, etc., etc." So I'm hoping 12 bucks isn't too much. And I'm hoping that, you know, a bunch of people will come up and use this to get to, again, our first stop up over here. 
uh, from where right now it's not the most interesting journey down to the uh, you know Seychelles area. Uh, but eventually, when we add the animal over here, which is something I want to think, I want to think about uh, urgently. When we add the animal over here and add the animals over here, it'll become a much more interesting journey from this station over. So a little bit of future planning that hopefully won't bite us in the butt. And then, of course, the tracks go on and up to, uh, over here and then back up over there as well, uh, hopefully making us a lot of money along the way. So with that set, with the pricing set, we can go ahead and open you up and uh, you know, have, have, a, have a slight celebration over here. And again, I'll fix the floating pads and stuff. Uh, in a beauty pass or something. I've noticed them. I don't like them either, obviously. Uh, but I don't want to, like, make a lot of work over here only to find out that this isn't working and then we have to adjust it all and I have to redo all that work. I feel like that's kind of, like, pointless, so to speak. Uh, not the best use of our time when there's so much to be doing. Let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. Yay, confetti, sparklers, smoke. All right, good stuff. All right, that's, that's, uh... A good sign, right? It's a good sign. We'll see if this starts seeing some uh, traction right off the bat. Right, you know what I should have done? I just realized. Turn you off. Add a number of trains. Add one more car per train. Um, make it four trains. Now you open. There we go. Confetti, sparklers, smoke. Everything's fantastic. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I do need to very quickly set work zones up. Let's go ahead and make sure that our staff work zones up in center for now still we're gonna add you and you and you gonna have to add an africa central at some point very soon i think uh we also want to get south america over here engaged with this we want to get africa west engaging with this as well just so whoever can get here first will get here first uh, i forgot center yeah no we did add you okay excellent and australia needs to add the solar panel and the tracks as well as whatever this is oh the uh the tracks the the tracks over top very well okay so that's all done now actually going to australia and talking about things that got undone during the uh, mass deletion uh we need to rename our uh, our kangaroo enclosure because it lost its name when we moved the um the entrance by mistake well not by mistake but you know what i mean uh kangaroo kuyong is what it was and it is what it shall be once again i gotta get the name in here nicely too some more uh beauty pass stuff uh, just adding more and more items to our beauty pass. You can see right off the bat, wow, look at that. Look at that. This place is already, okay, filling up. That's good to see. It's promising. People aren't upset about the distance they have to travel for this. Uh, we'll keep an eye on, like, minimum loads and stuff as well. But as all that's happening, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at animal trading. We have plenty of conservation credits. We'll be able to get a lot more because we have so many animals available. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to do a trade out session. We're just going to go ahead and pick up some uh, common warthogs. I keep forgetting it's a common warthog. It should be like warthog comma common or something like that. Because warthog is what comes to mind. The word common, not so much. Okay, this with the name Simba. Are you kidding me? Okay, easy. Good stats, good name, male, good price, excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and move you over to quarantine right away. Don't worry, that is quarantine. Uh, not the lion's den. And apart from that, we also want... I could have got, uh, well, no, no, we're fine. Uh, we need a female now. Again, yes, I could have got an albino, but I want to be more cognizant of the realities of trying to conserve animals. We, we can do it when I see, look at that fertility and immunity. There are quite a few albino warthogs. Uh, actually, you know, some of the highest quality ones are albinos. These are really good genes. Okay, I guess so. I, I wanted to go with non-albino, right, but no big deal. We'll go for it. We'll maybe get another non-albino female later on. That is a male. God, come on, party. You can't make mistakes like that, man. Oh, my God. It's been a long day, folks. <laughs> it's been a long day. Not the end of the world. I'm glad it was only like 60, uh, 60 conservation credits. Uh, what are we looking at, though? And also, are they all from the same place? Should have noted where the first one was from. Let's go ahead and get... Come on, come on, click for me. There we go. Fertility 50%, fertility 100%. All right, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and get uh, Adebola. Well, actually, Aquila over here is a bit more high appeal. Low fertility, though. But the chance of reproduction is very, very easy, they say. So let's, let's try it. Let's try this. Come on, let me just want to click. I just want to click. This game has been out for nearly a year now. 
There we go. Over to here. Animal storage, get rid of our filter here. Well, actually, rather, let's switch our filter, make it the common warthog. Though, now that I think about it, they won't be here. They'll be in... Uh... Oh, right, Tumaini's the other one. Tumaini, I'm going to just trade you out. Or maybe I'll just release you. Or we have an extra male for later on. It wasn't that expensive. We have an extra male to swap in for breeding purposes. Sure. Uh, maybe, we, maybe we leave it at that. Maybe we leave it at that. Let's get the... Uh, Immunity checked, get all the vet work done, and then we'll go ahead and pop them in. Hopefully they like the amount of space. Again, doing some testing on like the amount of space and that kind of stuff. Of course, they don't have any hard shelter, but I want to see also how much vegetation uh, they're able to have. Trying to go back to our elite zoo northways a little bit where we'd uh, do something very like kind of barren, uh, get the animals in, see what their needs and wants and desires are, and then make adjustments accordingly. Uh, now, are these trains moving quickly enough is the question. Not a lot of passengers up over here, no surprise there. Not a lot, I imagine, over here either. Yeah, almost none. But, up over here. Oh yeah, look at these lineups. Now, why are we waiting? Are we waiting because we're waiting for a load size? Because that's not um, my idea of a good time. What are we looking at? Half load, minimum rider load, no. Any load. Maximum wait time. Minimum wait time, let's set it to, uh, I say, 20 seconds. No maximum wait time. Okay, done there. Glad I checked. Uh, and that's station 38, I suspect. Go ahead and set you to any load. 20 sec. whoops, 20 second. No maximum wait. Cool. And then up over here, probably a similar situation. Oh, actually... Yeah, people are loading up over here. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's good, that's good. You're already set to any load. I wish. Can I double click you? No. Whatever, fine. Fine, fine. I'm gonna hit play. Let's see if that makes these trains move. Or if I've missed one. I think I've missed one. Any load for you as well. 20 seconds, no maximum wait. Let's see, station 37, that's got to be the entrance one you'd expect. You'd expect, we'll see. So you're moving over here. That train's on its way, okay, excellent. This train's on its way, good stuff, good stuff, everything's moving. Uh, what we do need to do though is increase the maximum speed. This is a long track. This is a very long track. We need to make sure movement is happening smoothly. I don't know if these guys left because they got annoyed at the ride. Yeah, I think they might have because you're headed to something that is nowhere near here. Right, well, let's see, let's see. Money went up for a little bit, but um, we need something a bit more permanent. Timba, let's go ahead and move you over. Where is... Did I not get... Oh, you know what? I didn't. Where is... What's going on here? Animals. Common warthog. Surgery. Did I send you to surgery by mistake? Now you're going to quarantine small. Oh, like maybe they found something. Maybe there was actually an issue. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Now, I might be mistaken. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Anyway, it is what it is. Now, obviously, we're going to go through that phase where um, we're going to cycle through unhappy guests before we see happiness take over. Which, uh, just a matter of time, but it looks like things are maybe improving. I mean, the, the trains, let's see what people are saying about the price. And let's also see what people are saying about the price of the uh, zoo tickets. Because again, we've added a new animal. Ticket price is fair. Might still be able to add a couple of dollars here and there and, and not have uh, not have any issues. Worth a shot. Let's add like a dollar or two maybe. Adult 57, child 52. Let's do that. All right? Let's do that. These trains are filling up. I don't think people are unhappy about the cost scorching out here. Yeah, I might need to add some coolers all the way out over there. Go ahead and get you. 
go 20 degrees. I think 20 degrees is fair. Now let's keep this space cool, shall we? While guests are waiting. Want to add some education boards and stuff in the area as well, perhaps, so that there's, uh, you know, stuff going on in here. Uh, but this is good. Okay, so far, so good. So far, um, so good. Hopefully we'll make more money than what we're seeing right now, but... We take some time for guests to realize this is an option. Like, how, how empty are you on the way back? Pretty empty, right? Yeah, pretty empty. We'll see how long it stays that way. Up over here, the Warthogs are arriving. The first has already made it. The second one's about to. Oh, there we go. Whoa. We need, like, education boards and stuff in here. Run free! Run free. Come on. Got it. Let me still catch you. All right, Habitat obviously not very happy about. What are we looking at? Terrain, they do not like. Need a lot more soil. A little bit more grass as well. All right, environment is okay. Filling up their coverage already. All right, let's go ahead and change the terrain. So more, less soil, more long and short grass. All right, good stuff, good stuff. That's not bad. Start with the short grass, of course. Don't like the long grass, as you all probably know by now. Okay, go ahead and do that. Still got to drop the soil a bit more. There we go. Okay. Now the long grass we can add back over here. Okay, this kind of a thing. Again, I've got some plans, so I'll, I'll be I'll probably be rejigging a fair bit of this eventually. Okay, that's good. No hard shelter, though. The hard shelter I want to build in over here. Um, for now, I guess I could do a temporary thing. Um... For now, I could do a temporary... What's temporary and cheap is the, uh... Is the big question. Don't want to do something with a lot of little pieces or anything. We could do one... We could do some of these. For now. These might actually be the parts that I end up using. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Ah, they don't really work upside down. Actually. They might for what I'm planning on doing. All right, let's do this for now. Just a couple of spots. Pause for a second here. Again, going very cost conscious here. Still want the area to be nice. We still want the animals to be happy. We still want to get donation bins and stuff down as well. Um, lots to balance. Lots to balance. I am glad. By the way, I saw a lot of comments uh, from the previous session uh, from many of you saying like... Uh, you're happy to see that we didn't uh, pull it down to uh, uh, medium difficulty, that we didn't back down from from the challenge. I'm glad to see that. Uh, that that's really my one of my driving factors when it comes to video games is like that inherent challenge that a, that a game gives you, um, especially when it's like a legitimate challenge. A lot of strategy games um, have faux challenge. You know, the, the AI is allowed to cheat or um, the AI gets an advantage that the player doesn't get. And that kind of stuff is like frustrating to deal with, whereas something like this... Where it's a where it's a problem solving challenge. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, it's why I like. I mean, that's it's it's a management game, right? And that's what I like about management games is the uh, management aspect. And I know for many of you, it's it's uh, stressful and 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 kicking up tension a fair bit, a little nervous maybe that things are going to go sideways. Hang in there. In the worst case scenario, we'll take drastic measures, uh, and we'll have to say that you know what, hard mode defeated us, but we haven't got there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there just quite yet. Uh, let's just unpause here. That counts for a little bit. Not enough. Again. Mostly placeholder for now. Alright, there we go. Good enough for now. This will all be sorted out next session for sure. Um, hoping that we uh, make a bit more money. This is, this is, this is not, uh, not great right now. But... What are people saying about the prices? Got a bargain. Tickets for small steam train three. Yeah, okay, yeah, see, thought so. Thought so over here, let's what we need to do maybe is have different pricing for different spots. So you maybe should be worth maybe you're 20 bucks a pop. Right? And the rest are 12. On your way home, you pay a little bit less. We'll see what people say about that new pricing. Now, people still complaining about things being a bit too expensive up front over here. Or not, not expensive, sorry, but too busy up front over here. What are actually people saying about the pricing? Zoo tickets are underpriced. Ooh. Zoo ticket price is good. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Promising, promising. 
Ticket price is fair. Well, I don't care about your complaints. Ticket price is fair. Well, maybe we can go a little bit higher. Go to 59 and 54. Let's try that. Let's try that. People still willing to use the trains. Excellent. What are you saying about the prices right now? Hungry and thirsty, but wanting to use the train. I like the look of main circuit. That's something entirely different. This should be main circuit now, actually. All right, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Still some happiness issues. Trying to figure out exactly where we might be seeing those coming from. Um, and actually before, let's go ahead and call a keeper over here before we get too lost in that. Yeah, it's not too busy up over here just quite yet. But we'll want to get um, education boards and stuff down over here obviously. Donation bins especially. Not going to make any money off these animals if we don't have donation bins. So let's make sure we get some donation bins right away. One there, one there. Sorry. Undo that one. Change their colors a little bit. Just because we're dealing with financial stuff doesn't mean we have to uh, forgo the little little things in life. Like a nice kind of deep brown. There we go. Yeah, that's fair. I think that, that, I think that works nicely. I like that muddy brown, you know. And then another one over here. And another one over here. Probably gonna need bins over here. Probably gonna need loos and stuff as well over here. Um, as, uh, it's, it's quite a bit of a distance from over here to over here as per the guests. Probably gonna need some more food over here as well. And I'm also hoping that finally getting this built up over here. I've got a nice idea for this as well, by the way, for how I want to cover this section. Hopefully I can execute it right. But, uh, yeah, you can see this is already being used so much. Probably indicative of how necessary this was before completely slipped my mind that we planned for this and we made entire adjustments based on this uh, need of ours uh, but I'm glad we finally kind of got that in there and hopefully that'll help a little bit as well yeah people still flocking to the tracks that's good let me go ahead and check your negative impact have we got anything lots of people coming through here now oh yeah look at that look at that we're finally getting people over here that's great that's great we're gonna finally see some donations coming out of the uh, tortoises here Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, wonderful. Promising, at the very least, if nothing else. Promising. No issues over here, it seems like. Yeah, we're good. These guys still... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do, like, another... Were oh, you stuck here? You're waving your hands, looking for help? The guard has caught someone. Oh, man. I need some more security. Oh, man. This is okay. I definitely need another entrance or exit. Why is everyone lining up? Oh. I guess they're looking at the animal over here. I'm gonna need something. What I'm thinking is maybe I build a path out from over here up to there. Do I widen this path a little bit? That might do the trick. Yikes. Might try that. And never in a million years would have thought this would get so busy. Could add more paths on the sides over here, but that'll probably have an issue with these little things on either side. That's a problem. Wouldn't be surprised if this is, yeah, a core part of a lot of the uh, issues. I guess using benches, so at least there's that. And silver lining items. <laughs> and positivity. Because when they say I've been... Uh, walking for too long, if they're walking in place over here, or if they're like, oh, I wish I had more time, or I had more energy, or whatever, and it's because they've been walking here for too long, then that's obviously, you know, a problem. Gee, I really, oh, really don't know how we're gonna sort this out, though. Really don't know how we're gonna sort this out. Block path is the path to use. If I reduce the width, I'm still not able to, like, pop out over here or anything. I can try. I don't know if this will work. Try. Nah, it's not gonna fly. I'm just gonna let the uh, animals out, obviously, until I build a, a barrier or something. Over to the ATMs and everything, so that's all. It's all clear. It's all as clear as it can be. See, if these, if people just like build up the whole space, we'd be better off. Definitely something to consider. Uh, it's good to see people actually using this shuttle, at least. 
I think, yeah, if we, um, if we shorten the shuttle and, and make it, uh, like I was describing earlier, make it so that it, uh, you know, it goes both ways from the center point, I think we'll see a lot of success out of that, which will be promising. Money, money's been, money's been up and down. Money's been up and down. These guys are arriving over here, hopefully not too upset. Okay, why, why are you annoyed? I can barely see the common warthog from here. Well, where, are you, where were you standing? It's a pretty simple enclosure. You should be able to see them from wherever you're standing. Now, I've probably given them way too much space. Yeah, so I might want to shrink this a little bit. Which is fine. It'll make it a bit more of an intimate thing. I'm fine with that. Um, I've got plans for the rest of the space anyway. So we'll probably do that. Not sure why people are complaining. Oh, I gotta get education boards down as well. Maybe that's what affects the view. Maybe that's how it's translated. Um, let's go ahead and get a uh, education board down here. Should have power. Nope. Where does power end? Ah, just a little bit over. Over here. I'm a warthog. Another one over here. You can do something about power. Multiple animals have low welfare. That is you guys. Go ahead and that. It might also be unclean. Let's go ahead to our exhibit trading. Sell everybody for 5k. I'll hold off until we're like really desperate for 5,000. I wouldn't say we're that desperate for $5,000 at this moment. Um, on, the, on the flip side, money's going up right now. <laughs> Let's take a look at the finances here. Finances. It is June. Uh, last year was profitable. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Last year was profitable. Uh, if we take a look at our income here. What is the big fluctuation? Is it still... Yeah, just zoo entrance ticket sales. Now we've upped the prices a little bit, so that should help. Uh, ride tickets will be making us some more money now as well, so that's promising. Donations. I mean, donations have stayed pretty consistent these two years. Okay. It is a matter of people coming to the zoo versus not. That five-star rating should help out. But I think that guest happiness is uh, is the killer. As we've known for a while. Oh, see... Th th what is this? What is this? What? How many unhappy guests do we have over here? Wow. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a big part of our uh, struggle. What are they stuck on? The education board? Did I get rid of more of these benches? Is it too tightly packed over here? Did not think congestion would be a problem on these paths. Okay, well this is clearly a big source of unhappiness. Look at this. Right. Congestion over here seems to have cleared up. I don't know if that's temporary or permanent. You guys are moving through. I almost wish for a uh, Jaguar escape or something. You want a drink, you just walk past a bunch. I say the Jaguar escape because then uh, a lot of guests will just run away. <laughs> They'll get their refunds, but at least I won't have unhappy guests roaming around. This is good. The reason for this structure, by the way, like this, is because I want to have another uh, station up over here. I, I might get the other station up over here to go the other way around uh, to make it easier to go in both directions. But we'll, we'll see if that becomes necessary. We'll see if that becomes necessary. We'll also see how these unhappy guests change things as they leave. A lot of unhappy guests up over here as well. I feel like the train is waiting for two. I feel like the train is waiting for too long. Let's go ahead and say quarter load. Or did you just arrive? Small steam train 3 sure is pricey. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead and make that uh, 15 bucks. Let's try that, right? Okay, because we want people using the ride, because if they're not using the ride, then we're not making any money, right? Happiness just dropped. These guys are coming through. 
Looks really cool. Can't wait to try it. Good stuff, good stuff. Happiness continues to drop. Spent too much time walking. You're, you're coming up to a train. Uh, you know what, actually? I want to see what happens to that as they get on over here. Minimum load is one quarter. I wonder if I should reduce that even further. I want to click away because then I'll lose this. I want to see what happens as they're moving. Okay, there we go. They're off. Does this change? Next train is right behind, so I'm not too worried about that. Have they just been sitting for far too long, you know? In one spot. Okay, away we go. We're moving, we're moving. Still, they think I've spent too much time walking. They're going to come over here, they're going to think they've spent too much time walking as well. And the ride is definitely making a difference, right? It's getting guests around, it's getting them to donate at more spots and things like that. That's the thing, they want to actually view animals while moving on these rides, which is not exactly why I, like, <laughs> built this train. Uh, I guess I could slow it down, they might have a better time. An okay time is fine, as long as it's not a bad time. And they still think they've spent too much time walking here, so, you know, like, it's a... It's a constant, uh, like, do I put down a bunch of benches over here? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Facility is without power. I assume that's because one of these is in need of a mechanic. I think it just got repaired. Yep. All right. Interesting times, folks. Interesting times still at Elitsu South. These warthogs are really not drawing any more of a crowd than the lions already were. Maybe once this area gets beautified a bit more, they'll be compelled to come through. We might even put down some exhibits over here uh, to draw a crowd up this way. Every little bit counts at this point in time. And we'll see how happiness changes as well as some of those unhappy guests uh, finally filter out. As looks like will be happening soon. Maybe. Maybe. Are you stuck here? Walk on the right. It's really simple. Walk on the right. Yeah, these are all those unhappy guests from earlier who I think are finally about to leave. <laughs> finally about to leave. But I don't want to, like, hedge my bets on that, right? I don't want to assume that that'll do the trick. we got a lot of unhappy guests hanging out here as well. Maximum wait time is 110 seconds. Get rid of that. See, this isn't good. What they get on, they get tired, and they just leave? Tired of sitting in the train? I'm not sure what to look at. What happened there? That's going to be a key thing to sort out. Order load. I mean, honestly, tempted to set it to any load. And set minimum to like 30 seconds. Because the trains are constantly coming here. And you can see what happens as these get backed up and those people are getting upset right now. And you know, if they're upset on the way out, that's you know, the most harmful things can be. Are you not a quarter full? I guess not. Okay, come on. These guys will come through. We'll drop this to any load right afterwards. Possible is just that 60 seconds hasn't passed. Alright, you're like full now. I think I know what it is. Every time I change the settings, everybody has to leave. No big deal. Protesters have arrived. What are you protesting? These snakes? Alright. Gonna be a problem. Let's go ahead and sort that out. Keep you. There we go. Hopefully the protesters will leave. Oh, hey. Look at that. All the unhappy guests left, and happiness is swapped around. I think that's what it was. I think all those people clumped up together was uh, giving us a huge hit in happiness. Absolutely massive hit in happiness. Now the protesters have arrived and they're going to make some people unhappy a little bit. Though maybe they are done protesting and that's why it's not actually affecting anybody. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll keep an eye out for it. Oh, playing football over here. This kid's like, what is going on? <laughs> Why is there a giant 
ball flying around. Uh, nonetheless, things look like they are once again stabilizing, as the, as they do at the end of every episode. <laughs> False hope, perhaps. No, I think uh, I think we're in a good spot. I do need to adjust this though. This thing's obviously got to be moved to reflect the new position of the uh, of our signage. Probably like over. Here you kind of get a good view. Depends again on how low you're willing to go, right? There you go. Cool. Very cool. Money's on the up. Happiness is up as well. That's going to help hop hopefully bring more people to the zoo and have them uh, experience more stuff at the zoo and, and just overall spend more money at the zoo. That's promising. The warthogs are going to start getting some more attention as well as soon as we beautify the space but that'll be next time folks that's it for this session again once more i feel like things are looking good guests are happy we just need to keep an eye out for goofy things like that like what what, what they weren't stuck on a bench they were stuck on a sign they were stuck on the uh do, the do not disturb sign it looks like it's happening again it looks like it's happening again all right you know what here let's go ahead and move this back Really not sure. Something's changed, right? Like, this stuff didn't used to be a problem at Elite Zoo North. We did it countless times. It was never an issue. Uh, but here we are now. Things have changed. Not the end of the world, but we need to... Um, we need to adjust the new reality. I think the donation bin maybe what was causing the issue over here. We'll see. It's a little bit off to the side now. Still able to receive donations, of course, so that's cool. Ooh, wow. Getting to work right away. Aww. They look so happy. Look at those smiles. <laughs> they legit look so happy. Alright. Well, folks, as I was saying, that's it for this session. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. It was, uh, again, an adventure in frugality, I suppose. But uh, I think we managed to, uh, to, to to make some significant progress. Lots of people lining up for the ride over here. All we have to do is adjust some of the movement times and things like that. And I think we'll be more than okay in terms of getting this moving fluidly. Uh, guest counts are on the rise, I think, as well as our overall financial stability. Look at that. 9,500 last year. It's only January. We've already made 1,500. All right, cool. Things are looking up again. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. Hope you enjoyed all that we accomplished. I certainly did. Feeling good again as we uh, prepare for another expensive time lapse next session to to get that warthog enclosure where I want it to be. Glad that money's looking good so I can actually invest in that. Folks, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. And of course, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.